Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Nami game. And uh, Nami is supposed to be a support champion, but I think Riot realizes by now that whatever you make out of a support champion, as long as it has AP ratios or AD ratios, it doesn't really matter, uh, people are going to play it as a, uh, well, a carry champion anyway. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be... Uh, a worse carry, I guess, than for people, but um, they will buff her and, uh, and make her a carry soon enough, so I'm sure of that. Anyway, um, the intention here was to uh, go bottom lane with Ash, but uh, for some reason I forgot, well, no, 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 I do remember, I just don't want to go into it. She is going to go uh, top lane, and... Um, yeah, we're going to go bottom lane at first, but um, yeah, we will see that there are two champions top lane, and that's why she has to go top. So anyway, oh, no, it's it's a nice animation on um, on the walk at least. So we'll have to see for the rest. The new champions have w really much better visuals than the old ones, and um, I guess that's why they're updating the old ones. But really, yeah. Good champion, the way it looks, it really fits into the game. And that is good. Anyway, um, we have on the enemy side, on this bottom lane, uh, Graves only. Because as you can see, two champions top lane. So, um, Jax Fiora up top and uh, Rumble is going to have some trouble there. And so uh, we will see when he gets called to the top lane. Uh, chat is turned off for now. Well, I can't see the in-game ally chat anyway. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's nothing we can see. But we're going to just focus on um, on the Nami. See the general yeah, gameplay. Nice and um, yes, I know that there will be a disconnect in the enemy team at some point. But we'll see about that. It's, uh, it's the only game from Nami I actually received. I've received a game from someone playing against Nami. I will be doing that as well. But for the rest, um, yeah, we're just going to take a look at what she does. So anyway, the uh, uh, innate ability gives her the ability to give extra movement speed to allies, including herself, because she is her own ally for some reason. No, <laughs> that's kind of logical. <laughs> Duh. Um, yeah, so she is her own uh, her own ally, so she can uh, give herself movement speed. Um, it, by the way, doesn't say whether you can stack multiple uh Stack that movement speed multiple times. So if you hit someone with all four uh, abilities, will they get their movement speed increased by um, 40, Is, or will it still be 10? But it refreshes every time. It's a big, di big difference. Um, we will have to see how that works. Um, I'm not actually sure how it how it's supposed to work, but uh, anyway, starting off with ebb and flow here, and uh, no, I don't want to have. <sighs> Come on. Just keep on this champion. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It makes it easier to uh, to see all the action, and uh, for me, it's uh, it's just easier to uh, to see everything. Unfortunately, Ash ran forward first instead of just volleying straight away, and so the the prison, uh, what's it called, the Aqua Prison, does not actually do its job of uh, getting a whole lot of damage done. But um, it is. A very good stun. It's uh, technically not a stun. It's a knock-up. Um, at least that's what I called it. But it says stunning them for so much. Oh, hang on. That was me. I have my hands on the wrong keys. So, um, first blood went down in top lane, I think. No, actually in mid lane then. I don't know where Morgana was hanging out. Uh, she was hanging out in mid lane. Yeah, yeah. And she actually lost that kill to uh, to Brand, which makes sense. Brand has a new picture. Really? Brand's picture was awesome. Oh man, why? Why would you do that? Well, whatever. Brand's picture was awesome, and now they have a new one. So the Aqua Prison once again missing that volley. It's not that hard to hit the volley. Um, yep, yeah, stop. 
I hit the directed camera at some point, apparently. So yeah, top lane is in a little bit of trouble, one versus two, because that is very hard to fight against. And uh, oh, let me uh, let me just clear up this mess. Um, Fiora, no, Fiora is technically the support, I guess. The jungler, mm -hmm. our jungler, and this should be about it. Oh, hang on, like this. It's either Jax or uh, Fiora that's supposed to be up top, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we have, um, uh, well, an advantage here for Ash against that Graves, but not if we consider that this guy has 10 minions um, in the top lane. So, um, yeah. Kind of um, behind on all fronts then. Uh, Brand has a big advantage over Morgana, not only the one kill, but also 10 minions, and that is a pretty big deal if you're not even at 20 minions yet. So, yeah. We'll have to see how that works. And, um, yeah, we currently have gone top. Um, yeah, so that makes that top lane is now a 2 versus 2 fight. And as you can see, it's a lot uh, more even now. And wow, a nice grab there from a Mumu. But wow, Rumble just just keeps going in there, just keeps uh, going aggressively into those uh, those enemies. And yeah, well, uh, we'll have to see how that works out. Oh, it seems that uh, Brand, I I really don't understand why they keep updating pictures with. These terrible hat pictures. I mean, just make a separate hat picture then. But this doesn't look like a hat, right? I mean, I'm sure that if you pull up the the entire um, the the splash art, so the entire picture, that it looks like brand or it is brand. But it just, yeah, kind of doesn't look like a hat uh, in this little picture to me. I mean, this is a hat, and this is a hat, and this is a hat, and this is a hat, but this, not so much. I mean, the, the Morgana picture is one of the few that actually are really good... Uh, well, it's a new picture with a really good hat, so it's it's still recognizable as being like eyes and a mouth. <laughs> the nose is not most of the time just gone because of the small picture, but that's okay. I mean, Rumble, I, I really like that picture, by the way. Ash, I guess, is, uh, well, that's one of the old ones. Because she got updated as one of the first ones. And, um, yeah, they really did a good job of still making her recognizable as a person. Or, well, a champion, I guess. A head. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. We've seen the, uh, the bouncing thing. What was that? That's the ebb and flow, right? Yeah, we've seen that a couple of times. It's a heal on one side and uh, a damage on the other side. It does damage or heals three guys and it bounces from enemy to uh, ally. And um, yeah, so it's uh, either enemy, ally, enemy or uh, ally, enemy, uh, ally. So you can get two heals or two damages, but never three. And um, it will bounce to yourself if you're the only one there. Which makes that... Um, yeah, it is very useful to heal up. Because if you can heal up yourself and then it bounces to your enemy automatically, that's pretty useful. Um, I don't know what the range on it is though. Uh, I don't know if it has a range. Because it doesn't say that it has a range. But So the... Uh, oh wow. The damage and healing value is reduced by 15% each bounce. So, you want to, uh, if you want to do maximum damage, you would have to target an enemy first. I kind of expected it to do the same amount of damage and healing to everyone, but okay, sure. There is a little bit of a random factor involved if you have uh, multiple champions. I'm not sure if it goes to the closest. No, it doesn't say, but. No, it just say, it says to a nearby enemy champion and to a nearby uh, ally champion. And um, yeah, I think it's a really cute skill. It, uh, it definitely allows you to do things that, um, that supports need to do. 
Yeah, it does have a definite range because it didn't Shut bounce down. onwards from here. Shut because down. she targeted the rumble and it didn't target the uh, jacks then. So, um, yeah, I guess it does have a range. It just doesn't say. So, um, we are going for, of course, the Philosopher's Stone, which is probably going to be the only item that supports champions uh, now all build. Um, because it's the only item that still does, uh, or does give you 5 gold per 10 seconds. Very good ultimate there from uh, from Jax, or oh, sorry, Rumble. And is it going to be enough? Oh, it might be. No, don't run back. Don't run back. Oh, man. Yeah. He came out of that alive, but that was so risky because, well, he needed to, to or he used his heal, but then uh, kept running towards, or, well, ran towards his, uh, his enemy, making the kill for Jax pretty easy. But the heal apparently just enough to uh, to finish that, and that should not have worked. I mean, Jax should have been uh, been able to get that kill, and probably got out alive. But yeah, well, he didn't manage to. So uh, that's excellent, uh, excellent work then. <laughs> There's nothing else I can say. I mean, it was super risky, but I guess it was worth it. So yeah, we're uh, we're going to just pick up some minions here with uh, Rumble, and we are going to get a ward out. So this is obviously the new patch. So um, we can actually go for that new um, uh, ward thingy. I forgot what it's called, with the refreshable wards, uh, which is uh, which is awesome. I mean, it is an awesome item. Apparently, it only costs like 700. People said so. Um, I was totally mistaken on the price, but I uh, already said that I didn't think it would be that expensive. But yeah, well, it's uh, 700 apparently to buy it with the four wards on it, and that is well worth it. Because um, you get 100 health off of it, and um, yeah, you get three wards. Uh, the problem is you can only place two at the time, and so. There can only be two out at the same time, so not all four. And that means that, um, yeah, you can use it very well as a support. But if you're, for example, a jungler that wants to place out a whole bunch of wards, or if you're going in the late game and you want to have out a bunch of wards, then, yeah, it's not great anymore. It's still a good item. I mean, you, st you can still get two wards out with it. It's just not, um, well... The way you normally want that is to uh, to buy five wards and uh, place all five of them in your jungle or in the enemy jungle, depending on where your uh, where you want your vision. And here you can only buy two for your slot, so or three. No, 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 you can upgrade it and then you can get three uh, for for your one slot in your inventory. But three is still okay, I guess. So we're trying to harass here a little bit. Uh, by the way, yeah, well, if you want to see the skills, uh, I decided, yeah, you can watch the Champion Spotlight. Most of you do watch the Champion Spotlight. Um, uh, I'll, I'll go through them really quickly. Uh, I said here uh, the movement speed boost. Uh, this is just uh, damage and a stun. Uh, this one is a heal and a damage, as I said, bounces between en enemy and ally. Uh, the Tide Colors Blessing is... hang on... It, oh, that's... yeah, that's uh, extra attack speed and slow. Uh, uh, not attack speed, attack damage and slow. But it is magical damage, so... Um, so, yeah, it only... Um, it's, it's only useful for... Um, uh, for well just a little bit of damage and really the only use is the slow um, because you need for the magic damage you would need magic penetration to be effective in the late game so in the early game and for herself uh, this is a very useful skill and a very <laughs> nice <laughs> prison there wasn't actually necessary but it was good to pick up an assist on that a great ultimate once again from rumble rumble's ultimate have been really good Excellent, in fact. And um, yeah, the ultimate, we saw that. That's a tidal wave. It's, the, the animation looks really cool. Um, 
it is a tidal wave that just flashes an entire screen. Uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's an enormous range. But yeah, it slows everyone, it does damage, and uh, it's, a, it's a big slow. It's a 50% slow. So, um, um, hang on, it has a... Huh? Red Team's turret has been destroyed. Okay, so you actually get more slow or longer slow if people are further away. Uh, with a minimum of 2 and a maximum of 4 seconds. And that is, uh, that's awesome. Because that means that uh, if you get someone that's further away, you actually get a better chance of actually catching up. Excellent! Especially combined with that movement speed boost, that uh, that becomes really, uh, really powerful. So yeah, she, does, she will need to use some skills here on the minions, because otherwise her turret is going to die. Oh! Or Jax is just going to run away and be a little pussy. How did he not see that he could just take out the turret here? He's up against a support champion that has no damage. Oh, she does have the the side stone. That was what it was called. And I think the second one is Ruby side stone or something like that. I don't know. This one is 100 health. The other one is 300 health. This one has four wards. The other one has five. And this one allows you to place two, the other one allows you to place three at the same time. So, anyhow. Placing two wards here, which is excellent. Um, so the total um, the total package gives you four wards, which is uh, 300 gold worth of wards. So assuming you use them uh, as you would normal wards, I mean this, you would no normally not do this with your normal wards. You wouldn't place two of them. You would place one ward somewhere. So basically uh, this ward or this ward, yeah probably this ward. This ward would normally not be placed. So if you use your wards like that, it is not, you cannot just say um, yeah, I, uh, I got 300 gold from that item because I placed 4 wards. Uh, you can say that if you place one ward... Uh, or uh, no, if you place the wards in the same way that you would your normal wards. Anyway, um, yeah, 300 gold from those wards uh, every time you go back, assuming that you use them all. Which shouldn't be too hard. But it does allow you to ward up a whole lot, a whole lot more. And uh, I guess they made this uh, this item to counteract the uh, the effect of Oracle's elixir. Oracle's elixir is really, really overpowered, and uh, many people don't actually realize that. But it is really too powerful uh, as an item. So making these kind of items with free wards. Uh, well, just like you had the free ward from uh, uh, Riggle's Lantern, but making free wards basically reduces the effectiveness of that Oracle's Elixir. Because if you have to buy every ward, every ward they take out with an Oracle's Elixir is 100 gold. 75 because you have to pay 75, 25 because, um, yeah, if you kill a ward, you get 25 gold. So the total. Uh, worth of killing a ward would be a hundred gold. Assuming that you kill it when it's just placed or, well, not when it's almost timing out. Because then it's worth about 25 gold. But it's up to a hundred gold. And so if Oracles is only 400 gold, you need to take out four wards with it. And if you have like tanky junglers or tanky supports or someone like Janna with a huge movement speed boost, that's just very hard, well, champions that are very hard to take out and that have the freedom to roam the map, you can just take out like 10 wards with them, in, uh, especially in tournament play, when people are really aware of where everyone is. And um, yeah, that makes that, that item is just denying so much, uh, well, gold to your enemies and denying so much vision to your enemies that um, it becomes too powerful. And of course, well, these kind of free items... You don't have any wards anymore, dude. <laughs> you placed all of them. Um, but making these, these free items, free wards, uh, makes that uh, wards are no longer 75 each. They're in fact 
25 gold each. Or, well, they're not 100, 100 gold each, they're 25 gold each. Making the Oracle's Elixir a lot harder to uh, uh, to purchase and, well, to make uh, economically viable, I guess. Because you would have to kill 16 wards in order to... Uh, 16 free wards in order to get that uh, that gold back. And that is, of course, a huge difference. Oh! Yeah, the, the ultimate was still good. And he is still going to pick up that those three kills. I thought he did it the wrong way. But... It wasn't. It was actually the correct direction. Well, I'm not actually sure about super correct, but... Uh, I think um, it, it still worked. Yeah. I would have gone for the kill on um, on this Amumu straight away and ignored the the guy in the bushes. Which was... Brand? I want to say Brand. Not actually sure though. So, um... Uh, Olaf picking up the red buff here, and are we going to go back? Or are we are back. Okay, so she picked up four more wards, which is excellent. Four wards. And, um, ghost ward is available. Okay, whatever. Why would you call them ghost wards? They're just side wards, man. Anyhow, uh, for now it is, um, yeah, it's just, they're, they're dominating pretty hard here. It uh, doesn't actually matter. They're uh, about 6k gold ahead, and by now this guy disconnected, as I said. Um, yeah, she disconnected at some point. It's okay, as I uh, uh, only have one game of, uh, of this champion. I had to pick this one. I waited for several days for people to send me ga um, games from this new champion. But I guess a new support champion is uh, not something people want to play, uh, at least not for now. They want to see, uh, well, if she's any good. And she seems to be very reasonable. She's, uh, she's not like super powerful as support, I think. Uh, but she does have a couple of slows and uh, movement speeds and a stun. Which made her a pretty decent support. She's definitely going to be a lot more useful than someone who only has a heal like Soraka. But probably not as useful as someone like Sona. Who has uh, a heal and a slow and a speed boost and a stun. So um, yeah, Tarek, same deal. Tarek has a lot of um, support things as well. So he has... A stun and an armor boost and a heal and yeah, just a whole lot of uh, of good stuff and um, yeah, I guess they want to go for uh, with the uh, support champions. They want to go for a whole bunch of of those utility things. Yeah, if she threw in a spell there, he would have been killed. No, no, well, not killed, but she would have grabbed the the rates and she would have been able to. Uh, to at least do some damage to this guy. And she could see that he was there because of this ward. She can see up to here. Red team's turret has been destroyed. So uh, it seems that uh, we get another turret here in the bottom lane. Um, yeah. We're all just chilling everywhere. Getting another kill here. And currently we are 209. So definitely. A good score, and um, yeah, that makes for uh, a really good first game on her to see that she can actually uh, uh, keep the zero well this far into the game. Probably not going to die at this point anymore, unless she overextends. But so far, she has been behind uh, champions every time and just well done her damage from a distance and done her supporting from a distance. Not really caring about the damage too much because she doesn't have a whole bunch of damage. Uh, she has that. Oh, yeah, this was my. Um, the item that I thought would be very popular. Uh, Mikael's Crucible. It removes taunts and fears and such. And uh, she missed the uh, removal of that stun. 
but that's okay. They still get a pretty easy kill here. And um Yeah, that's that's awesome. By the way, she does have a heal. I kind of forgot to mention that, but um well, I did mention it before, but she has a heal and additional stuff. So she's kind of like Tarek, I guess. Tarek also has a stun and a heal and as I said, he has an armor buff, she has a damage buff. Uh, Tarek has a damage buff in his ultimate, uh, she has a slow in her ultimate. Uh, yeah, so all in all, she's kind of like Tarek. And Tarek is a really useful support. So I think this one will be a useful support as well. Just, yeah, I'm not sure if people will actually want to switch. Because, um, well, it's another champion that costs you uh, 6300. And yeah, that's the problem with uh, with new champions. Y y they're 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 kind of all the same as the old champions. They do kind of the same. As I said, comparing her to Tarek would be a fair thing. I I, I guess um, I can't really say that she's that different from him. But yeah, well. I would definitely uh, keep playing Tarek, uh, but with the new items and get my utility from those. I mean, the new items give you a whole bunch of extra utility. And yeah, Tarek is just very tanky because of that armor buff and she doesn't have that. She has a movement speed boost, but that does not make you, well, tanky. That doesn't allow you to escape uh, things, but I guess she's ranged and um, that makes up for the fact that she's not that tanky. And she has more movement speed, so movement speed plus range means that you should be safe anyway. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of the same to me. It's just that this guy can be played as an AD carry. Uh, sorry, AP carry. And Tarek, yeah, is much harder to play as a carry. But yeah, well, Tarek is a lot cheaper to buy. And I already have Tarek, so <laughs> I don't really care about how much he costs. Oh wow, the damage going down on uh, the uh, Amumu there, and that tidal wave is really slow by the way. I did not notice that before, but that is really slow. She is going to use some spells on herself, and um, no, it seems that you only get one boost on that. Nice flash. It wasn't actually necessary because he was full health, but uh, it did uh, prevent the stun at least. And oh, oh, come on! You need to land this. No, run in, kill him. Uh oh, they're not going to get it, are they? Oh, and Brad forgets that he can actually finish her off straight away. Oh, <laughs> she could have had such an easy kill if she stayed in that in that fight earlier. And yeah, then Brand got an easy kill when she was over here. She was uh, she was stunned and she was she had no health at all. And I guess he didn't have any uh, uh, skills up, and that of course is a problem. But yeah, at least she picked up a kill there. Three and one, three one and ten, I should say. And let's fast forward a little bit until we are all back in lane. This guy is uh, really aggressive, but should be able to pick up at least that one kill. There you go, getting the second kill as well. No! Oh! Yeah, Brand actually landed a stun and that was good enough. I always think that he's uh, uh, immune to stuns, but that's of course only when he has his ultimate up. Uh, or is using his ultimate, I should say. And uh, yeah, he didn't, so. So top lane, a little bit of a fight between these two. But um, as before, yeah, this time uh, Jax does take out the turret. But as before, yeah, she couldn't really uh, take out the whole minion wave. And therefore, it is hard to, uh, to go up against that. But come on. Yes, nicely done. They do pick up the the kills there and they hold off the push 
But Ash is going to just go in and get this kill. A nice assist there. She uh, she used one of her skills on Ash just to make sure that she picked up an assist because the assist is uh, like another 200 gold and that is a big deal for a support because 200 extra gold is uh, yeah is is just a large amount if you only have about seven and a half thousand. So yeah, you can see how that works. Um, yeah, we're just uh, we're just getting the Baron here, and it should be no problem. Although Jax is coming in, and they are going to focus Jax, but oh, Olaf, you're in Dragon range or Baron range, sorry. So gives away a free kill there. Should of course have uh, ran away so that uh, Jax was the closest target. And yeah, it seems that. Um, we are just going to own them all. It doesn't really matter at this point. I mean, they were so far ahead already at uh, 25k gold and they never gave away that uh, that lead. They're never going to give away that lead because Fiora is, uh, is out of the game still. And um, yeah, it just... It, ju it just delays the game a little bit. And yes, the enemy team is going to... Uh, be fed a little bit more because Fiora isn't there, but because they uh, that's why they, they're still holding off. It wouldn't have happened if Fiora was still there, because then they wouldn't be as um, as fed. They wouldn't uh, they would have to share the minions with more guys, so uh, four instead of three. Yeah. Because the support normally doesn't get uh, in on the minions. And I guess uh, yeah, the minions on these guys are kind of equal, but she was 0-5, so she wasn't really going to do anything. I don't really care. I, I'm i trying to make up as excuses, but I don't really care. Because, uh, yeah, it's the only game I have, so I can't really make up an excuse for that. Anyway, red turret goes down, uh, dragon goes down, and we are going to go back with the entire team. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Going to grab a blue buff and then going to grab a Jax. No, not a not a Jax. Okay, that's cool too. So yeah, our um, I forgot your name. Na na name Nami Nima Nami. Nami. I don't know what she's supposed to be called. I guess Nami. Nami. That's that's completely strange, but it is probably what she's supposed to be called. Nami. Oh, she gets the slow and the damage, but not the kill. Ah, uh, that's a shame. The nice, uh, nice uh, hourglass from uh, Morgana, by the way. She almost uh, got killed, but she did survive! And she needs to get the hell out of there, because uh, she's going to get sniped straight away. Um, it seems that Fiora is back in the game. And I think Fiora and, uh, and Graves are uh, duo queuing. Which means that um, I don't feel sorry at all. Because if you're duo queuing, then you should know, or well, you at least know that someone is coming back. And um, yeah, at zero 05, it sounds more like a, a rage quit than anything else. Oh, is he going to survive? Yes, the heal goes down, and that was just good enough. So they're going to take out the turrets here, and um, yeah. At this point, it's just a matter of just hitting that Nexus a couple of times. And they should be able to do that pretty nicely. Come on, just finish it off. There you go, first Nami game on the channel. And uh, she did pretty well, 3-1 and 18. That is a pretty good score. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you have a Nami game of her playing solo, I would like to see that. I would like to see if she actually does damage and uh, yeah, how she works in a solo lane. 
So feel free to send that. Make sure you put the champion name in the title. If you need instructions on how to send games in general, uh, there is a video on my channel page under Featured that explains everything. It includes my email address. It includes how to title, uh, how to make the title on your email, how to make the email, how to name your replay, all those kind of important things that allow me to pick your replay as the right one to cast. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG.